Hello, hello, welcome back to Jack in the Books, welcome back to my second channel. It's been a minute since I filmed a video for this channel, um, not for any particular reason other than I've just been crazy, hectic, busy. This month has been insane, so um, welcome back to the channel, to you and to me, because <laughs> it's been a minute, um, it's been a while, but um, basically two months ago I made a video on this channel called My Favourite Book Titles Ever, and I went through, basically I have this notebook where I write down titles, book titles that I encounter that I think are just lovely and delicious on the tongue, you know? <laughs> books that taste nice to say, books you can, book titles you can kind of chew on. And in that video, I said, please comment in the comment section down below with your favorite book titles. And so today I wanted to react to some because I saw one of the comments um, and it was, by Grand Central Station, I sat down and wept. And immediately I was like, that is the perfect book title. And so I bought the book and I read the book and it was incredible. So thank you so much. Um, I'm sure I'll find that comment as I go through these um, so I can thank the person who recommended me that book because genuinely, one of the best books I've read this year. I loved it. So I wanted to go back through and there are 470 comments. So we're not gonna go through every single one, but I'm gonna go through the top comments of the book titles that you guys commented and react to them and see what you guys said. So firstly, I am absolutely fuming because someone commented on Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous. That is the top comment and of course it is. And I actually feel like the audacity of me to make a video called the best book titles ever and not include on Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous. It almost like went without saying. Do you know what I mean? Like it didn't even cross my mind <laughs> when I made that video because it just is the best book title ever. On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous. It's just, that is the best. That is the best book title, and I would like to formally apologise to Ocean Vong and everyone else affected by this gross injustice, by this oversight, this ghastly, ghastly oversight. I can't believe that I would miss On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous. If anything, I have to make this video just as an apology. This is me taking accountability for getting, for forgetting that book. So, On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous, of course, is one of the best book titles of all time. Now this one is very interesting. This says the German book title for convenience store women is Die Leiden Hüterin. I think that's how you, I don't know why I said I think that's how you pronounce it because I, I don't know. <laughs> that's a complete guess. Um, but it means, wait, let's let's get um, Google Translate to say it to us. Die Ladenhüterin. Die Ladenhüterin. Die Ladenhüterin, which means simultaneously woman who protects the store and product that never gets bought and therefore sits in the store forever. And I think that's brilliant. I agree. Holy shit. <laughs> that is so cool. Damn, that has added like a whole nother layer of texture to that book. Isn't that so amazing? Who translated convenience store woman into German? We have to give this person credit. Um, translated by Ursula Graf and Ufbo Verlag. Well, Standing ovation, round of applause, that is incredible. Someone commented, I love you, but I've chosen darkness. Of course, that title is beautiful and that's why I bought that book too. I didn't love the writing in this one, but I do love the title. I love you, but I've chosen darkness. Incredible. One of my favorite book titles ever is a short story collection called The Trees Grew Because I Bled There. There's something about this sentence that's just so beautiful and kind of scary too, which is exactly what this book offers. I. Like I, I literally can feel my hands trying, there's like a gravitational pull that my laptop currently has, like it's like magnetic because I want to type that into Google and buy that book. The trees grew because I bled there. Whoa, incredible. Lots of comments saying, on earth were briefly gorgeous. That, I can't believe I missed that one. I literally, I need to retire out of embarrassment. <laughs> how, how, who am I? to call myself a booktuber and forget that book. Damn, oh, man. Everyone Brave is Forgiven by Chris Cleave is such a heartbreaking and beautiful title. Yeah, that is lovely. I absolutely love the importance of being earnest. The title perfectly describes the direction of the story. It's more or less in, and references a character so elegantly. Yes, Oscar Wilde was the go. A little um, essay collection by him called Only Dull People Are Brilliant at Breakfast. I think that's also just Great. A Swedish author, Amanda Svensson, had a book translated to English that is called A System So Magnificent It Is Blinding. Whoa, A System So Magnificent It Is Blinding. 
I need that. I think that was on the long list for the International Booker Prize, right? I remember, I recognise that title. Fave title has to be A Thousand Splendid Sons because it's such a mouthful to say and it sounds beautiful and they put that last bit in all caps and I agree. <laughs> I agree with that sentiment. Beatrice Cabana has given me a whole list. This is exciting. Beauty is a Wound. Her Body and Other Parties. I'm very excited to read that book. I just bought a copy of it, actually. Why Be Happy When You Could Be Normal? Don't Let Me Be Lonely. A Pig Was Once Killed in Our Garage. That's quite cool. The title, not the act. A Dream of Women, The Woman Destroyed, and The Night Is Darkening Around Me. Ah, oh, yes, the Emily Bronte poem. Incredible. My personal favourite title is Been Down So Long It Looks Like Up To Me. It's a 1960s novel written by a guy who died in a motorcycle crash a few days after it was published and one of the most undeservedly unknown novels ever. It's just a clever title and a reference to a blues song. Huh. Interesting. Someone said, Jack, I can't believe you didn't put Alone With You in the Ether into your list. I need to make a part two to this list because uh, there were some oversights. A recent favourite for me is The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. Not only is it memorable, but it's also just such a perfect title for the story. But my all-time favourite title is probably The Ocean at the End of the Lane. Yes, Neil Gaiman. That is a great one too. My all-time favourite book title is When Death Takes Something From You, Give It Back. Not let it go, but give it back. I love that so much. It's also my favourite book, though I've never managed to read it to the end as my eyes will overflow every five pages. You guys know how to sell a book to me. <laughs> you guys know how to make me want to buy a book. Hmm. Okay, noted. I absolutely adore the title, Lie With Me. It's one of those titles that have even more meaning after reading the book, so true. I love how it depicts both the act of lying as in omitting, keeping a secret of their relationship, but also the romantic sense of lying down, being together with. You made several points. You made several points and I agree with every single one of them. One of my favourite book titles ever is Ruth Ozeki's A Tale for the Time Being, because it's only after you start reading the book that you understand the double meaning of the title. Absolutely exquisite, and the book itself is phenomenal too. I think Jack would appreciate how it's so deeply rooted in Japanese culture. Pretty bummed that so few people seem to have read it, because I never get to nerd out about it with anyone. Ooh, a tale for the time being. I actually have, I think I have two copies of that book. Frederick Backman's novella, And Every Morning the Way Home Gets Longer and Longer, is a beautiful title that perfectly encapsulates everything the characters are enduring within its pages so Beautiful. And every morning the way home gets longer and longer. Love. Double tap. I hated that I just did that. <laughs> but I love the book title. That book title's got me acting like a fool. <laughs> anyway, I thought that was good. We've got another list. Let's go through it. I keep my exoskeletons to myself. A confederacy of dunces. Oh, that is... Divine. A supposedly fun thing I'll never do again. Wishful drinking. I feel bad about my neck. How not to drown in a glass of water. Yes, that's another one that's on my list of like books I want to buy just because of the title. And love, dishonor, marry, die, cherish, perish. Interesting. I haven't read it and I know not everyone loves it, but For Whom the Bell Tolls is so pretty to me. Literally know nothing about the book and hadn't started reading it as a hobby yet. And I instantly wanted to buy and read it at the moment I had the name. It's just so beautiful. Yes, it is pretty. And actually, it's funny you use the word pretty because another Hemingway book, I think I want to say that it is The Sun Also Rises, ends with, isn't it pretty to think? Um, and For Whom the Bell Tolls is certainly a pretty title. I agree. Oh, lots of people saying When Breath Becomes Air. Mm, that is really gorgeous. Okay, let's do two more. Their Eyes Were Watching God is my favourite title. I'm not religious, so I find it very interesting. This title in particular made such a mark on me. Yeah, The Eyes Were Watching God. That's a really good one. I always loved Dave Eggers' titles, a heartbreaking work of staggering genius, and you shall know our velocity. Both great books. Wow. You know, I love a sentence title. That always gets me, so I'm glad that we all agree here. I'm glad that we are all in agreement <laughs> that those titles are superior. So, thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope that your TBR has just grown exactly like mine has, and I will catch you very, very soon. Bye-bye.